name is Catherine Burton. I'm an executive coach and I'm going to tell you what an intake session is. So an intake session is a two and a half to three hour long coaching session. I know this seems a little long, but I do think it's incredibly important if you're thinking about investing in a coaching relationship. Um, and the reason I think it's so important is in any in any venture, there are really three components that determine how successful that venture is. Um, number one is a leader. There's what you do. So what are the weekly, daily, monthly behaviors you're engaging in that are directly feeding the bottom line measure you're hoping to achieve? Um, then there's what your team does. What's your team doing on a daily, weekly, monthly basis that's directly feeding the bottom line measure? And then what is that bottom line measure? Um, uh, for the first... Uh, uh, whatever it might be, 30, 30 minutes or so, we're concentrating on what that bottom line measure is. That bottom line measure could take place over three months. It might be um, nine months, a year. What I found for most clients is that having the bottom line measure at six months is incredibly productive. And the reason that it's uh, that I think it's proven to be so productive is that it brings you out of the weeds uh, enough because six months is far ahead of time. So you're not concentrating on, oh, I got to put out this fire. I got to put out this fire. Um, right now it brings you out of that, but it, it's not far enough into the future to bring you up into the clouds. Um, so when I'm asking you to think about the bottom line measure you're hoping to achieve through this coaching relationship, I want you to think about leaving the office, uh, on a Friday afternoon, six months from now. What just happened? What's the evidence that just came about, that just came through, that's letting you know that all of that blood, sweat, and tears, all of those hours, all of the stress, all of this, all nighters, all, all of the fights with your spouse, whatever, that all of that was worth it because of whatever set of events just happened. Maybe you went from pre-revenue to post-revenue. You got your first client who's making, and you have this contract for a hundred grand. Um, maybe you got an investment that you were seeking um, and those in, that investment is on the terms you were, seek, you were really hoping for. Um, whatever that is, I, I, don't, I don't really care what it is, but what I care about is your relationship to it. It should be something that really excites you, something that, that really says to you, wow, I'm glad I lived my life this way for the last six months because it, because it paid off. Um, and I feel like I'm that much closer to really seeing this venture turn into something I can really believe in. Um, so once you, we have that mark together of what that, that six month milestone looks like, then we'll work back from there. If that's happening at six months, then what's happening at four months? what's happening at two months and all the way back until two weeks. Um, I think this progression is incredibly important because when we're thinking into the future, I'm using lots of hand movements, when we're thinking into the future, um, it's important to tie it back to um, the what's happening in the short term. Um, oftentimes, uh, if we think, oh, well, I'll do that tomorrow, I'll do that tomorrow, then all of a sudden six months can really sneak up on us. But if we take that two and a half to three hours, that intake session, to create clarity on what the, the next six months look like, then all of a sudden you feel confident in what that pace is. You know how big of a deal it is for you to miss a certain milestone or not, or for you to not engage in behavior that maybe you've been avoiding for a little bit. Um, no blame, no judgment. <laughs> We'll talk about that. Um, and then from there, after we've identified all of that, um, really the majority of the coaching relationship is helping you create that clarity between all three of those components. The, the clarity, and most importantly, I think, um, from my perspective and my experience, is how are you identifying any destructive patterns at play between yourself and your team? Um, when you're doing that as a leader, what you're doing is you're engaging in a lot of emotional growth. And um, that can be a little hard at times, a little difficult. And that's why I'm here. I'm here as a partner in your growth. I'm here as um, as somebody who can meet with you on, uh, maybe it's every week, maybe, maybe it's every two weeks. But really the conversations that we have depend on um, our relationship with one another. 
If we can see each other as partners in your growth, then when I challenge you, you can trust it. When I support you, you can trust it. When I call you out, you can trust it because we're having um, the most genuine conversation possible around the issues you're trying to confront. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you're thinking about it, please let me know. I love coaching so much. It's really a vocation for me. So reach out with any questions um, and we can take it from there. Okay, bye-bye.